And on the other side, Hashim the beat. Here's a guy who can block shots, speed up shots in the paint. His offensive game is becoming more polished now, and that makes it really scary for his opponents. He's 172 behind Okafor, who is the National Player of the Year in 2004. Von Rosenberg, not shy. He's thrown up a couple of threes. Hasn't knocked either down. Austri down low to the beat. Look out. He tipped in his own miss, and Dan Leibovitz said he... And they've controlled the second chance points. And you see that? That's because they're starting to get rebounds and layups. And when you get layups, and uh -oh. you see the beat right there doing what he does best. Some good teams in the conference, but the Hartford Hawks. Uh-oh, look out. Oh. Wait a minute. <laughs> Only the second field goal of the night for the beat. He's got eight points. Two to go, first half. First miss, but the beat helps him out off the glass, and it turns into a three-point possession there for Connecticut. Kravinoff goes right at him. Gets it out of there. Because we just witnessed one. Kravinoff trying to put it up there. The beat says, I don't want that ball in here. Get it out. Landry, little ball fake. Oh, he pinned it up off the glass. What a play. How about just catching it? Don't worry about blocking it. Just catch it. Watch Landry. Thinks he's there. Uh-uh. He just <laughs> put it right up on the glass. Hughes. Blocked. To Bates. Walker plays the point. Price slides over to the two. Edwards nice down low to Khabib. Great high low look there. That's where Brian has to keep the ball. Packing this pressure. We went to practice this week. They played against six guys every day in practice, so they're ready for the first. Latham down low, head fake Ponce once, twice. This is right. He's going to go right at the beat. Pointers in six three-point attempts. Adrian, there's that high-low action against him. That's deadly. You can't, cannot let the ball into the foul line. Four minutes, second half. Next up for the Huskies will be Delaware State Monday night at Campbell Pavilion. Adrian goes to the floor and to beat with the foul. Well, the all -around player in America. Tyler Hansbrough, though, was pretty impressive in Maui. Price, left side three, can't get it to go. To beat with the rebound. He is five for five from the floor. Turn the ball over, and when you do that against Connecticut, oh. it's easy buckets down the other end. Hashim to beat. Passing the ball around the perimeter instead of going inside. Sabit with his third block shot. Good reversal gives Dyson a wide open look. Sabit with rebound number four. I guess you would call that the uh, <laughs> high percentage variety shot. Shot clock at 10. Douse goes right at Sabit. There's his second block shot of the night. Every time. <laughs> Didn't matter where they got back on that. <laughs> yeah, not, not much of well, Johnson Walker. under no circumstances should foul. Oh, nice look. That's one of the problems when you play that matchup zone. It's more. And Dyson, I think, has got to get more involved offensively as well. There he is. Uh, you got to do a better job of defending off the inbound. Easy openings. Defensive intensity has picked oh. up a bit. That almost doesn't seem fair. On the switch, the beat picked up Donald Johnson. And sent that shot into section 106, about four or five rows in. You don't get to keep the ball, do you? <laughs> now, the crowd loves that, and it's a great block. But most of the beast blocks would have stayed. wound up with only like 1980 <laughs> or something. Stayed on the perimeter. Oh, again! The beat with his fourth block shot of the night. Nice. Oh, there's the big man. The beat turns to the left hand and lays it off the glass and good. And that's where he's really improved. On the baseline, didn't rush it. Side turnaround won't go, but the beat is right there for the follow. Been a key factor here for this in this early lead for, for Buffalo. Robinson on the drive. The beat a block as he moves closer to 300 above the rim, trying to lay that one in. Dump down to the beat. He's fouled, and the basket goes in. No place for Ostry to go, so he backs out. He go over the top to the beat. He's double team, shoots, it goes in, and he's fouled. Quickly, they're moving the basketball. A lot of handoffs. They keep moving. They keep the Huskies on their heels. No, Mr. Fedotov, get that out of here. Basketball as they get it back to Watt. He was one of the starters. And now it's Bex. He drives the lane, and the beat gets a piece of that. Lucky he didn't get an offensive foul call right there. Uh oh, look, look out. out. And one. 
knew it was trouble. I mean, you got to give him some style points for this right here. I mean, look out, and you see Betts coming in there, and he gets posterized right there. If I'm Betts, I'm getting out of the way right there. He comes in. It's too late. Boom, right on your head. Yeah, but he did a little taunting there. Almost turned it over. Really just tried to throw it up to the beat, and that worked out okay. And I think that was a little bit of a lob right there for the beat. Rebound and a block by the beat. AJ Price is at the point. Dyson. The beat with authority. You know, I could think that that would be very hard to stop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Once he gets that close, it's Katie Bar to door. Sides. Nice little lob in for the beat. I mean, how do you defend that? No, how do you? Really? I hope you're not asking me. <laughs> <laughs> the beat. Nothing you can do. You can't let him catch it that low. Real good help by Brenton. And Adrian feeds the beat for the jam. That's just knowing where your teammate's going to be. Then you have to remember that they're going to Gonzaga on Saturday, the number seven team in the country. Player. Yes, he will. Especially in that league. Exactly right. Great feed. And, oops. The beat was able to hang on to that one. Such a good job of playing passing lanes and not allowing you to blow by them off the dribble. Baseline jump shot way off the mark. For Austin, loose ball though, put back up and in. I'm going to give Austin an assist on that. That was an alley oop for UConn. Inside folds it. That one blocked by Kabi. Coming off a 91 to 57 win over Stony Brook. Their big wins this season as the beat gets there and banks it in. Coming against Wisconsin and Miami. Here's Price driving. Hands it off. Oh! What a flush! This is Greg Nero. And there's the beat with the first block, a save. How this year, for the past three, four games in this seven game win streak, they run it less and less. The beat. As they turn around, post up, and the jump hook for the first basket. UConn back up by one. Robinson on the up fake. The beat. Nice little turnaround jump hook, little push shot, but it goes in nevertheless. Yeah. On their way to that eight and three record, and there's a pickoff by the linebacker, Jeff Adrian, in the middle. Oh, oh my! On the alley oop inside of the touchdown by the beat, and the big fella hurries down the floor to get back on D. Great hustle by the beat back down the floor as you see the steal by Adrian. And then on the break, Dyson sends it home. The beat. And look at the big fella lead the effort down the floor. Bang! Wow. I don't know what else you can do. Left hand, the beat showing he can do both ways. Here for Fairfield, feeding Nero in the post. Rejected again by Thabit. I got exactly what he wanted. Dead zone. Thabit. Yep. Thabit has 10. Very good at it. And he's gotten to have better balance. There he turned it down to try and be a little bit too unselfish. Oh! oh I left it up to Thabit! Dyson! Talking a legit chance at, at 19. Sure, absolutely. Turner on the drive. The beat helped reject that one. Maybe some have overlooked early on the season, but think about the wins they have. Beat Memphis on the road, won two games in Kansas City. Fairfield has right now, this is the third consecutive year they've had at least a seven game win streak in the season as the beat finishes off the pass to the post. And now all of a sudden you're talking Carolina level of depth. There's the beat finishing on the pass from Stanley Robinson, who was deeper. Dyson. This little toss up to the beat. Who has 20 tonight? Shovels it to Nero with a reverse left hand, got a tip, and the beat clears it away. It was fun to look at. It was fun to watch. Han on the drive, the beat with a tenth block for the Huskies tonight. Really drive, and he will look at times to drive the beat. Freeman. And missed the left-handed layup that he's played this year. The Hoyas bench has gotten badly outscored. Right. And again, Fabit may have gotten a piece of it. Georgetown. Backdoor cut, and Fabit with a great recovery. To... Sap, nice crossover, gets inside, swatted away by Fabit, number four. But to Georgetown's credit, they keep going after him. A good drive, tries to 
put that ball that, that gets over 95 percent of the shot blockers that jesse sapp's going to go against but greg monroe who had not hit a three so far this season has two tonight and fabit is on the board so they're going to see more and more of it helps shorten the game as well another block for fabit price the beats and he's fouled Williams and Yancey Gates really get their legs under this season. That's going to be a really good team and a tough out. The beat with another block and the shot clock will expire. Neighboring a little bit. Boy, he and NGI, man, that is it. WWF down there. They're <laughs> Not a thing of beauty in this game. You can just 36% field goal shooting, 57% free throws, but only one turnover for the Huskies. On UConn. Farmer with a driving shot, partially rejected by Tabidoff. It's later, it's a rocket again. And that's just a testament of all working. And right there, you see Tabid again throwing it down with the hammer. The next Saturday, and at St. John's. They head on the road as Tabid. It's good to see him back in good form because it looked like he might have a problem with that hit when he was hurt earlier. Oh, he's definitely ha he has a lot of promise, and he he's going to give Rutgers that inside presence, shot blocking ability. Hands back to Price, pulls up for a jumper, bending, bending off, rebound, battle, and a block underneath, and then finished off by the beat. Well, he's got all five so far for the Mountaineers. It's Adrian, the dump down to the beat, and if he catches it there, it's over. <laughs> he's a UConn fan. Dyson gives it up to Robinson, moving on Ruoff. And again, they go inside, and the big man banks it home. Up against a driving and trying to jam. Mountaineer fans wanted a foul call. There's the alley-oop. And that will put UConn back on top. But he squeezed his team back on top by a point. Nice block from behind by Fabit, and he takes it away. For the last seven minutes. Good feed inside. Ruoff. Dumps it back to Smith, that's rejected by Thabit. Walker with it. He'll pull up for a jumper. It's well short. Thabit the rebound. Powers it up with the left hand and scores. Been 79 days. <laughs> that's a long time. Boy, how do you uh, keep your composure? Great drop down from guard to the big man, Thabit. Vaughn. Austria had a big night on the return. You get that, don't you? Yeah, I, I agree. Not a lot of panic. Dixon on a drive, challenging the big guy. And guys are going to be Vaughn and Williams. UConn stretches into that student section, but nothing's going to stop that. Uh, Adrian controls with seven to shoot. Dyson, great pass to Thabit. Oh. And now Cincinnati needs stops. And that's too easy of a catch. The beat gets it up. Intensity. Evans spins, but he got fouled. No whistle, bumps his way back in. Thomas, where the last thing on St. John's mind, or should be on their mind in the offensive fadeaway. Roshin Fabit. By St. John's, Thomas fights for it, gets it back. Fabit with the big block. Didn't contest that layup. Fabit underneath. There's where you like to see him gather himself, does. There's the young man, Paris Horn, he was Supposed to be the sixth man on this team. Uh, look what I found for Hashim Thabit. She set the screen for Kennedy, who drives right at the beat. <laughs> Bad idea. We're very competitive. And no team in the top 25. Dyson feeds the beat behind the defense for the dunk. First basket. They want to go with it. Coming off the screen, Hazel on the drive. Gods takes it inside amongst the trees and gets hit rejected good spin move by theodore but the beat says get out of here Spurs on 7 of 12 shooting and the beat comes out and rejects harvey intensity to start this second half that they finished the first half with edwards on the drive short the beat on the putback puts it home and bobby gonzalez might want to with all the fouls that have been mounting but you just can't allow that entry pass. The beats. Osprey shows it, dishes it. The beat finishes it. I'd say that 
one. They need to do that, and they need the defensive stop, as Mitchell gave him last time. The beat, oh. he spins. Oh, he's got all the athletic tools, take good shots, and he can create as he did right there. 13 second half points, and Alley oop, inside Price to the beat. Pick it up there. That is Basketball 101, but Adrian lived to tell about it, and it's a beat over the top, and he'll go to the line for the three-point play opportunity. Rebound. Austri. UConn can't get one to go, and that's where the beat's dangerous to follow. Add more of a middle game. That was a oh, he got away with it. It's Scotty Reynolds, and Reynolds now 0 for 3. Cunningham, the leading scorer, sat the last 10, 22 of the first half in foul trouble. Hashim to beat. Gets the scoring started in the second half. So now it's a five-point game. Reynolds trying to take over. He dishes it for Clark. He had to swat it out of there by the beat. Caused Scotty Reynolds to miss that second opportunity. Reynolds giving it off to Clark. The charge attempt, and then sending it back out. And Reynolds... You see a replay of that, but when Reynolds got to the basket, see if they can't find an open three-point shooter. There it is. Redding strong. He tried to dunk it over the beat. He had none of it. The jump ball and the possession arrow goes to UConn. How about the big fella? When he gets challenged, he answers that challenge, and that was all ball. What is a meeting at the summit in Tanzanian? <laughs> I mean, he speaks five languages. And I think he's rejected. Oh, man, what a play by Ashim to beat. Connecticut 38. Here's Zach Hillsway. He spins and has it rejected. Use some of the athletic ability to attack the basket rather than just become a perimeter shooter. A.J. Price misses the pull-up. The beat with a strong rebound and put back. Played solid, tough, tenacious defense without allowing people to get to that free throw line. Aaron Gody driving and spinning, and the beat got another one. Back comes UConn, a five-point lead. That's a big lead the way this game has gone. Good position inside the beat. Gets it again and lays it in. They can't just be one-dimensional and have Aaron Gody be their score. Jackson handed it off. Aaron Gody blocked by Fabie. He's got to convert it. They need his help. He's got to make some threes. He made his first three. He's missed his last six. Oh, yes. Fabie in transition. Oh, yes, Mr. Fabie finally plays on something three. Later, I mean, they're going to be playing some quality people. They got Michigan coming up there, but Michigan's really been struggling. Hey, I'll tell you a game that you and I are looking forward to. It's Oval Pavilion, February the 28th, Notre Dame. Will be at scores. What a block by Fabi. That is his fifth of the night. You know, you could say that almost of every big game in the first division in the Big East. Big game, big game, big game, because they really are. Yeah. What about West Virginia? It was a block shot again by Tabit in the what, five. What a win for them, huh? Chuck Walker comes down with it. And DePaul on the run again. Brazukas. Blocked there by Fabi. Robinson trailing the play. His three didn't go, but the beat just pulls it away and throws it back up and in. The beat down low throws it down. At the line for two. The beat throws it down at the other end. Jerseys, look at them all stacked up in the paint, waiting for the penetration. There's the help from Coswell. Oh. The beat off the glass. Feed from Price. Jerry Wainwright's got to feel very good about Will Walker and Dar Tucker. Those two guys are going to tell There's the beat. Off to four of 16 from three-point range. Kyle McInerney on Saturday night, three of 15, and there's the beat down low with one of his blocks. Stanley Robinson got a piece of it. A.J. Price back for Dyson. Here's the beat. Trying to establish him early. And they do it for two. An amazing fourth blocking shots. Yes. spin move, try to go to the left. Goes along for UConn, could be the X Factor. Nice dip. Collie running to beat. Well, UConn, of course, the bigger, more physical team. Oh, nice look. Right to the beat. Who thought about the whistles to honor coaches versus cancer week as well. Curry the miss. Hanky blocked away. Another ejection. Third of the day for Hashim to beat. Seven foot three, 263 pounds of blocking power. Curry can't get that jumper to go. Great rebound by Hanky, but coaches versus cancer. Several different charities. Ellis area. Another deflection on the Hanky shot. And the Juco rebound. He knows the beat's there. Who blocks another shot of Brooks? UConn all over them right now. Brooks away. Block 
Okay, for me. Got a piece of it. Back to Dyson. The beat rebounds hard. Right over McDermott. We may be worried about those two fouls in there, but can't get your shot up with the big fellow around. Brooks at the beat. Bad idea. Nearing another double double. He's got points already. He got 12. That's a new good block away. Hashim for me. Trying everything they can to get it by the long arm of the law. Marshawn turn around. Guess what happened? Hashim for me to. He's got nine career blocks. And what should have been a stuff there regains. Stop. Foul. Chance for a three point play. Wow. Domination. Domination at both ends of the floor by the beat. The block. See, I think that's a goaltend. I think that ball's reached its peak. It's on its way down. Nevertheless, uh, in uncanny timing. Not, not too many players can get that ball. And then at the other end, stuff, stuff. The UConn is keeping him out of foul trouble, but he's just been doing that all day. Another block. <laughs> just basically put the inside game away for Providence. But I never thought they dribble penetrated and kicked the ball out the way they were going to need to today. Oh, the oh, oh. finish. Louisville and being third in the conference. The beat can't finish. There's two. He's got his first career triple double. And the beat's day is done. Wow. And boy, does the beat go on here at UConn. They love the junior big man who has his first ever triple-double. Having possibly his best all-round season, Walker, a lob for the beat. That's tough to stop with Nick Pitino. Where would they be tonight if he was sitting on that sideline? He has 14 of their 24. The beat with his second field goal of the night. They have both been dunks as the season moves along in league play. Jennings. Uh, no easy shot. one for the beat. Thou shalt not enter thy lane. You cannot enter the lane. Of course, of Connecticut. Connecticut's yeah. defensive prowess. Samuels. Can't get a shot one. Can't get a shot in the lane. Thou Williams now with 16. Dyson the law. The beat. And a foul. Great job of figuring a way to get the ball inside the to beat. See Williams trying maybe to do it by himself right now. Wow. The beat. Right back out to Knowles. Kemba Walker with the ball. Driving on Williams. The beat with a jumper. Wow. How about that? Wow. You think that opened some eyes of NBA people? In that three second area. Clark on the drive. The beat again. Absolutely frustrating. Dad, I'm telling you, it is now shot on it that I'm late. Brown wanted to walk. Dyson with the reverse and the follow tap by Hashim Fabit. Offense. And they are attacking the rim. Oh, the beat says get it out of here. Primarily four guys on the outside of the three-point line. The beat just got his third block. Good break for UConn. They better take advantage. And if the beat, that's going to be an easy flush. All the momentum. Robinson pulls up on the baseline. No, no. But nobody puts a body on the seven-footer, the beat. You're not going to stop that. <laughs> no, and then call a foul on the beat. The officials are not giving them the call because the beat is going straight up. Oh, Price to the beat. He's to step through. Oh, the beat with his shoot or a tip. Oh, and the beat gets another block. Syracuse basketball, get a hand on it, get a run out, easy baskets, very nice catch here and look. Send it in, big fella. One of the big reasons why. UConn leading 4-2. to two. They go inside to Arinzi Onowaku. Right into the game for Connecticut, he was ball-hawking Flynn. Harris had it blocked by Fabi. I don't think you can get away with it around the rim here. Just a feeling I have. Well, Fabi rebound and he can push it all by himself. And they don't come back and blow. Oh, great defensive block. <laughs> Saved it. And look who's there. back there. Devendorf couldn't score. Changes. It's the offense that he changes psychologically. And he can score as well. Hashim Thabit. That is his patented move. Little kiss with the jump hook. 
Andy Routen's getting ready to check back in for Syracuse. The beat got his own rebound and scores. Well, he pushes you so far under. And player at UConn to score a thousand or more. The beat just swatted Flynn's shot. Flynn. That's better though. Yep, arcs it over the beat who comes back to block on and uh, then they battle for it. It off for the easy two. Price, he had four threes against Syracuse earlier this week. The beat. Bring it up for Fabit. That's a two. And he's really improved on that shot. He can go out there and still play. He's got to watch this great season. There's a rejection. Pass because Robinson can jump so high. Probably the best athlete on this team. Fabit rules that one in. Theodore. Another block by Fabit. Officials on the far sidelines. Inside. Can't stop him down there, can you? Lane. Uh, you can never uh, underestimate the power of a 7-3 guy <laughs> that can do that as well. Uh, even if seems the beat can't help but smile after that one. <laughs> the blocks, Mike, as we take another look at it. Boy, if you're a guard, you want to have some fun playing with this guy? He's coming to lane. Head up. Where are you, Hashim? I'm going to throw it to you, buddy. Last year, Jim Calhoun saying yeah. they were just changing their minds. Harvey, another one. Jordan Theodore, he's a defensive specialist as a freshman, does a nice job. There's another flush. Price throws it up. Fabit throws it down. Number two in the league in steals, huh? Yeah, they like to pressure you full court. They make you play faster than most teams really want to play, and that's how they get so many of their steals. 16 now for Fabit, going to the line with a chance for the three-point play and 17 points. It's under eight. Hazel. I mean, <laughs> for a great shooter, Hazel surely hasn't found his stroke to... Adrian. The beat. Whoa! With some authority on that one. And Calhoun saying Adrian, 36-inch vertical. Owns the glass. The offensive stick back. Give it... Mitchell. They're challenged. I mean, winning is first and foremost. He doesn't go. He's frustrated. Thought he was pushed from behind. Gauze trying to get down there before Thabit does, but Thabit is there anyway. Austri. That's how you break a press. You know, I was about to is going to be involved in a lot of run out ball screens. Nice play and the slip. Pays dividends. No one at home deep. No, 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 no. You're not going to get away with it twice. Blair, a step back air ball with the big guarding. Start out getting some minutes today, showing you that USF, a lot of guys out, a lot of guys injured. Kicks out, up top, Price, his three. That's off the mark. The beat with the offensive rebound. The beat, nice job using the window, but he brought the ball down. But well, has a ton of upside. Coach Heath was very excited talking about him. How about hitting the outside jumper? That's a shame to beat. Obviously, you know about the shot blocking capabilities. You know he can finish uh, with the dunk, but if he can face up and I, I had to stop in mid sentence. I mean, <laughs> the guys on the wing, especially the guard, try to dribble into that paint, get to the heart of this defense. Good hook shot by a shame to beat. The leaders in shot blocks in this country. The beat off the pass, he puts it in easily. This is the last game that UConn plays here at the XL Center this year. Howard to the hoop. Oh, get that out of here, says the beat. His fifth of the first half. The beat down low, muscles it in. With you. 11 point lead for the Huskies. And that number six block of the game. 14 up high for the beat using his reach. It's like go go gadget arm. <laughs> Go, go, gadget hook right there. <laughs> they start to get out in transition, and they start to run up and down. Jones is going to be even that more dangerous for USF. The beat with the offensive rebound and the putback. By Robinson, and Robinson knocked down the three, his first of the season after missing his first 15. Exactly. That was like Shock City that he made that three. There's a block by the beat. Being in the Big East, the visibility would be great. So he decided to take the job. Pervaded with a little bit lack of day still defensively. Wow, that is a call. The improvement of Dante Cunningham. Look at that penetration ability. Play so strong. 
The beat steps over the fallen Burke and then slams it in. The reason they got the lead is the play of A.J. Price. McNeil, oh, the beat swings it away. Yeah, they're going to get to beat some touches, though. He's going to get some touches. Throw the ball up live. There it is. And he Thank will you. lay it in effortlessly. Thank you. Him now. Butler's 6'6", six, six, the beat 7'3". There's Let's the touch. the ball inside. And he lays it up and in. What the name of the Toronto kid? <laughs> That's Junior right. Kadugan, they think he's going to be a great point guard in this program. Yeah, it's about a Canada. Yep. The beat with the offensive rebound and lays it in and draws the foul. Why not go to him more? I spoke to John Sanders yesterday. Congratulations on his new contract. John, really one of our valuable guys here at ESPN. Now look at the offensive rebound. There he is. The beat says, you're not going to throw it into me. I'm just going to get it off the glass and convert and lay it in. Foul on Hayward. John and Lavin hook it up. I know one thing. John is a spacey there to make sure they come up with a score on every possession. The beat swats away the attempt by McNeil. It'll be a layup, but the Huskies were there to tap it back. Heron Goaty back it in off the beat. He gets a block. He's got a block now in every game this season. And he averages almost five blocks a game, Jim. And Heron Goaty cannot attack the beat with his back to him. The beat with the basket from outside the free throw line. Adrian, the beat. Great assist by Adrian. Connecticut's hit its last four after misfiring on his first five. And there's five straight made baskets. Doesn't play well into the Irish hands. They've got to speed this pace up a little bit and not have to go against the half court defense of UConn, and that's why. Four weeks coming off the bench. Wrap around pass. Seller, no. Here's Nash. Put back, no. In their career. Only five in Husky oh. history. That's Jackson getting rejected. That's, that's right. why <laughs> the Irish have to make threes. They've got to make threes and mid range jump shots. The beat gets the roll off the glass and the rim. Point now up three. The beat banks it home over Heron Goaty. Ayers and Nash to the bench. They also bring Zeller back. Oh, they got beat on the inbounds pass. The beat dumps it down. Points. Heron Goaty. There's the first block of the halfway road. Took on five straight ranked opponents. Here's Nash. No, sir. And saved by Austri. At NCAA.com. Heron Goaty puts back. No, the beat with the rebound. This game, if it didn't get up into the 70s, and they're right in position now. And no foul and a loose ball retrieved by UConn. Tough break for Notre Dame. But pick it back out to play inside out basket. This is where he's strong. And he got the neck. The only perimeter threat for A.J. Price, Craig Austin has not shot the ball well at all. I like that set, man. If the beat makes the shot, this makes it look good. Tef, Austri, his shooting woes continue. The beat there, waited patiently and gets the bounce. Oh boy, he was harassed as well. 15 minutes to go, let's check in with Alan Hopkins. Big John will... Stanley Robinson, they nickname him Sticks. He's got a rebound. He's playing small. Really become a complete player. Missed it. On Janot. Off to Jackson. And it is pinned by the big. And he's not even involved in this. Steven Dorf swatted by Thabit. Dribble into the gap for that turn. But you can't leave the floor to pass. Oh, Thabit said no more of that, Johnny Flynn. Good screen. Walker, a little hesitation move. And it's tipped back up and in by the And that's the key right there. This guy with the decision. Pretty good catch. And to be spun to the bucket and laid it in with Ongenon on the ground. And Jim Robinson. Good stuff from Robinson. Very good on the glass at the end of nice pass by Price. Penetrating. Beautiful by Price off to the B. In the basket. Got to get it out of there. Trying desperately. He had it blocked by Abe Notre Dame in 2002. Georgetown beat Notre Dame. 116, 111. The beat with the first bucket to get connected. Went on a walk. It was the second orange to foul out. Ongenot was the third. When Jim Calhoun didn't come out for the second half, not feeling well in that game either. The beat dunks it down, and Hashim Thabit, who had to sit early because of the foul, making his presence known now. How's that turnover? On the offensive end, Austri to Thabit. 
McDowell has not been able to find any daylights thus, thus far. He's 0 for 4 from the field. But Craig Osprey, oh, good. Uh, nice screen, and Chattanooga did not react very well out of that timeout. Feel like he walled up very well. To beat meets Patterson at the rim for the dramatic block. A minute, but when Ty Patterson went up at the summit to meet Hashim to beat, that is all ball. That should send a message when you bring it in. Don't be surprised to see it come back out. Osprey the beat to go along with 10 points and 10 rebounds. Oh. Give him two more and a chance for the three-point play. Now that's a move, Carter, that last year Hashim Thabit would have been incapable of making. And there are some that would say, well, he's making um, he's making this kind of move you know, against the quote-unquote mid-major player he's going against. But he has been doing this more often against big time competition against him. He's done a good job with that program under Houston Fancher. Of course, Bob Matillip and Davidson playing in the NIT. Slashing guard went down with an injury several games ago. This UConn team has been Connecticut on the East and Washington in the West. We'll meet the winner of this game, the beat. Easy to George Mason. They were the only players on the team that had been part of a, a winning win in the postseason. Primarily because they don't foul. Jeff Adrian inside and then dumps it off to Thabit and rolls it in. Hummel's the only man who's made a shot. And oh my, there's Thabit who is in a racer inside his 147th block of the season. Career 410 for Thabit. Don't you come in here, the beat says, swats it away. Hot screen dribbling too much, and oh, a good steal by Walker. Purdue had a layup at the other end, and there's the beat off the feet of Price. Oh, there's a four-point switch. Started by Stanley Robinson, an outstanding defender and a great athlete. Each one more rejected by the beat. Those are 50-point bonuses just on his name alone. And uh, he gets 50 for those, but only two for that. Prove that part of his game. That's his first bucket today. The beat again, just under the basket. How you to trigger it in. And it's to the beat. And how easy was that? All wasted team inside. Shallison over the beat. No. He's a Hummel drives it inside, and then another block by Thabit. The Connecticut with a team laden with seniors. Thabit is a junior, but he plays like a graduate student. Time by the Missouri defense. Connecticut setting up its half-court offense and into Thabit. And the big guy makes it 6-2. Walker in the crowd to pull it away. Leads all scores with 17 and looks for two more. Dumps it off to Thabit. It's good, and one. Dick Ember, Kemba Walker is from the Bronx in New York. And that New York City toughness is coming out in a game that has a little bit of a street element to it with the way it's being played. Kemba Walker has emerged as one tough customer. Good catch by Hashim to beat the gather and the finish. Now it's Morgan, spin move, yes. and rejection number one by Thabit. Action to try to get him into the lane. They got the pass inside, they fed it, and Ebok on the foul, they're gonna count the basket as Thabit hits the floor hard. Quick dump inside, Thabit, yes, plus one. Boy, that is an outstanding play by the Yukon Huskies. Jeff Adrian going to come up with this rebound at the defensive end, and he doesn't want any Spartans near him. So he swings, and no problem there. And then at the other end, I think it was Adrian who made the high-low pass, but the beat, getting a, getting his, getting in position, we, we call that in basketball jargon, rim running, running right down the middle of the floor and establishing strong post-up position in front of the rim, and an excellent pass by Jeff Adrian. He's out with it. Took it right out of his hands. It's Osprey. Feeds it. The beat. Yes. How about the and big one. fella? How about the big fella? Agility running the floor and then finishing. What a play by the 7-3. Hashim the beat. Go get it, big fella. And dance to the right. In addition to taking better care of the basketball and rebounding, their defensive board is push the pace a little more. We're getting right back to him. Sutan on his back. Big man takes the left-handed shot and has the soft touch for two more. Is it about this point? Yes, where 
They've started to pull away from Louisville. Clavico has other ideas. Turns around and lays it in. By Michigan State. And Lucas. Out of there by Fabit. His second pick. With the second pick in the 2009 NBA draft, the Memphis Grizzlies select Hashim Thabit from Dar es Salaam, Tanzania, and the University of Connecticut. In case you were wondering, did the commissioner really just say Tanzania? Yes, he did. Hashim Thabit becomes the first player in NBA history born in Tanzania. He's actually met three Tanzanian presidents. Seven foot three, 267 pound junior out of Connecticut is now a member of the Memphis Grizzlies. Let's take a look inside the draft room of the Memphis Grizzlies. A lot of speculation that they might go small with Ricky Rubio. But they go large, very large, with the tallest player in the draft out of Connecticut, Hashim Thabit. 13 points, 10 rebounds, and 4.2 blocks per game last year. His uh, 4.2 blocks, that was second in the NCAA. So Thabit's name goes up on the big board. The Memphis Grizzlies, a franchise that has only had four winning seasons in 14 years of existence. There you have him, Jay Billis. What is this guy about? Well, he's about defensive potential. You know, he can protect the rim for you. This last year, he had 62 more blocks than he had fouls. He blocks and changes shots, and he does so without fouling. He's got good timing. He waits for the shooter to leave the floor before he leaves the floor, but he needs to operate in space. If you can get into his body, you can have a little bit of success against him. I think you have to draft him for his defense first and his defense only, frankly, because I'm not sure his offense is ever really going to get there. I think he can get better offensively. He's got pretty good hands. He can make a catch. He gets stick backs. But I'm not sure he's ever going to be a great low post center. But he got it. He has to get stronger. He has to get stronger in his lower base. He has to get stronger in his upper body. That's an absolute necessity. DeJuan Blair absolutely beasted him in the first game those two guys played this year. And I think he's got to really refine his offensive skills in the post. He's got to be able to make a post move legitimately with a counter. He's got to be able to hit a jump hook in the lane. One thing I really like about him, though, he makes his free throws. He can also make a face-up jumper. You don't want to take a lot of those, but he can do it. And he won't look up to very many players in the league, although there are at least two, and only two, that he will look up to. Hashim Thibit becomes, you know, one of the tallest guys that we've seen, tallest active players in the league. Yao Ming, of course, at 7'6". So he'll go eye-to-eye -eye with Zadrunas Ilgoskis, and he'll look down at Dikembe Mutombo by an inch. Here is Hashim Thibit's reaction as Commissioner Stern called his name. He stood up and basically kept standing up. Hashim means the destroyer of evil, but Mark Jones doesn't look like any destroyer there. He just looks, looks like a man with a big smile on his face with you. Good look right now by Hashim to beat, Stu. And uh, Hashim, six years ago, you were back in Tanzania emailing American schools about getting a scholarship. Today, you're in the NBA. What has been the best part of your journey? Um, just uh, the experience itself, you know, me making transition from playing soccer, from just kicking it, and now you gotta use your hands and stuff. So, I mean, I've been around great guys, you know, Coach Calhoun, the UConn program helped me a lot, you know. I, I just wanna say thank you for everybody who helped me. It's interesting, you don't have to worry about kicking the ball anymore, but what does it mean to be the first player in the NBA from Tanzania? To me, this is a blessing, you know, it's just to get this opportunity to come out here and, you know, get education, play ball. And I decided what I want to do for life, for living, to play ball. And now to be here, you know, last year I remember I was in my house watching, you know, the NBA draft and today I'm out here. It's just great, man. You know, there's, there's a lot of kids dreaming to be in the position I am right now. So to me, it's a blessing just, I got no words to say. <laughs>